everyone. Well, we've painted this zebra now end of times, but I just thought it might be fun to try it on the black paper. So I'm going to start with some opaque white, but we are going to get a lot of colour into him. But the first thing I'm going to do is to mark out anything that is really, really white. That I really want to stand out. So with very little water, and I've chalked that in. And we can go over that with shadow if we need to later. And oh yeah, there's a little bit there. Okay, so that's double light. need to get that right, don't we? Let's get some of those in. And then also these are quite light here. Let's just start to get the shape. It's, usually I'm painting in the dark ones. It's really weird trying to do the light ones. I've got light around the eye. Hopefully this will be enough that we can work out where the stripes are. Okay, so I think we're going to get some colour into it now. That's some of our whites, and they're quite definite whites. But let's get some colour in. So I think we carry on with some stripes in the whites. And I'm using the metallic paint now. Right, so we put a little bit of silver in there and now we're carrying on with blue. And I'm going to try and get a rainbow of metallic paint. Looks sparkly already. Nice thick paint. Yeah. I think some green. green. Got to work out which ones are which with these stripes. If we get this wrong it could look a bit odd. So 
think that's the black and that would be black and that would be right so that's the white I'm quite liking this in the metallic stripes. Let's just make it a little bit more metallic. Just, you know, build up layers by adding more. Definitely a second coat helps with this. It's a lot more sparkly, isn't it? Just get the other green and they'll go back over that blue, I think. Let's go back into the blue. Some blue here if we can work this out. Okay, it's a bit of a mess around there but I think we can sort that out in a little bit. We have got some white though I think I'm going to use silver. little bit fluffy. We can always go back in with darks afterwards so that's not so much of a problem. All right, let's go on to another colour. Um, let's go for pink.
getting some mellow. to work out where this goes. That's quite a thin line there. And then we can go over that in a minute though, I think. No, I don't want to do that the same colour as that. I think the graphite might be quite good. Graphite at the bottom. And silver. Just above that. go back into the white, just bring back any highlights that we've lost there. With the white, I'm just going to lighten that a little bit there and then I'm going to do the same with the graphite. So let's go for silver. That should show that up quite nicely. Do we need to get that pink stronger possibly? Let's go back into that. sort of interesting isn't it? Let's get some blue back into the eye. Just soften that. I think we go we get some dark in so let's go for our Prussian blue. Prussian blue and sepia. Just like you normally would. Try and get these stripes in properly here. That's brought that shape back. That's better. Let's 
covering up some of the chalk. Well, I'm just wondering if it will splatter, so shall we try? Let's get a little bit of the blue, I think. Onto the end of the brush and... Well, that's not really showing up very well. A bit more. Oh, that's some nice squirrely bits now. I think there's some silver too. I'll just soften up the surge. I wonder if a stiffer brush would help. Let's try. That's better. Well, I think that's worked quite well too. So, a different way of doing the zebra, but yeah, an interesting effect. So, thank you for watching.